Microsoft Dynamic 365 Business Central will let you personalize a number of different types of page. For example, here I'm on a list page, the customer's list page, and what I want to do is just see what I can do in terms of changing around the columns. So firstly, I need to go up to the cog, and I choose personalize. There is also design, just the difference on these is personalize is for my own benefit, will not affect anybody else. Design takes down the route of maybe create an extension I could share, which for the time being we're suggesting you don't particularly use because of how the extension that you'll ultimately create may or may not interact with other extensions. Uh, the layering can get a little complicated. We'll, we'll give more guidance on that in the future. For now, I'm just gonna stick with personalize and I'll only be affecting my own view of the specific role center I currently am using. So I will only affect my own view of the system. If I click personalize, it'll open up confirming what I'm doing. Now you need to be cautious here because you can still interact with the underlying data. For example, columns will still drop down, um, headings, menus will open up. Try and avoid interacting because you're gonna get yourself confused. What you need to do is apply a little bit of patience, but hover over elements and you will see the red triangle indicating that that's the column in this case I'm about to interact with. So if I didn't wish to display phone number, if I click that red triangle, I have the option to hide and remove that from the visible columns. The page updates and that's now gone. If I wish to move something, click and you'll see it goes slightly pink and then you drag it across and you'll see a red line appear where you can take it and a no entry sign where you can't take it so if I want to move this responsibility center column back a few columns just take it across follow where the line is I pop it there let go again columns update there we are if I want to add more columns into this I need to click the more Now this gives me the option of adding in fields. So if I click plus field, on the right hand side, the other fields that I can add as columns will appear. So if I want to add the currency code, drag, drop to where I want it. Again, I get the no entry, I can't drop it somewhere because I'm not actually in the headers. Once I'm in the headers, I get the, the red line that says, yep, you can drop it here. Let go and you gain that column. Same with payment terms code. Same with salesperson code. I'll add in one more, just give me a bit more data to play about with. So I've added in country region code as well now. So now I've got enough to give me a scroll bar. What you might want to do is set where the freeze pane actually goes now. So across here, if I want the freeze pane to appear there, if I click the red triangle, Choose set freeze pane. That's going to lock it at that point, just like you would do in Excel. And the scroll now works further on. Because I have multiple columns now, if I want to resize something, I can do this. So for example, currency code, the actual data is three characters. I want to shrink this one down that's much more appropriate and much more efficient in terms of space than it's using on the width of my screen. Once I'm finished here, it's important I click done rather than interrupt the page by mistake. That's taken me out of personalization mode. Now I've got my columns scrolling across, I've got the new order I chose, and I've got my freeze pane at a more convenient point. And again, I can collapse away the fact box pane to see everything, and then I may not have to scroll at all, and may not need the freeze pane. If I put the fact box pane back in place, if I go back into personalize mode, you'll see when it's moving round, it also ends up with a red box, correctly showing that I could interact with this as well. So each of these cues, each of these little tiles, if we didn't actually use that functionality, so say we didn't do anything involving quotes, I could remove that completely from this. and therefore have more space for things I do actually work with. So if I take out that one as well, this fact box within the whole pane now takes less space and things are higher up. 
Um, I can do the same kind of thing to an entire fat box. So I could remove the fat box, and within each fat box, I can clear any changes I've made. So I can turn back on those fields that I just removed. Yes. Okay. Same will apply to each fat box as I scroll down, and even the sequence. So for example, links is down here. If I drag, see it goes pink, so I can move it. I've got the no entry because I can't put it within that part, but I could put it up there where the red line is, let go, and that will now update. And I have the links part above the customer statistics. At any point, if I realize I've perhaps gone too far with these changes, or want to take it back to standard, if I hit more, there is a clear personalization that will change everything from the entire page back to the default values. There we go, back to the original view.